In this reaction, we're going to add sodium chloride solution to silver nitrate solution. Instantly, a white precipitate forms. To understand what happens, let's look at aqueous silver nitrate, a clear, colourless liquid. At the molecular ionic level, the negatively charged nitrate ions occasionally collide with the positively charged silver ions, here coloured pale blue. But the water molecules then pull them apart. Notice how the oxygen ends of the water molecules point towards the silver ion. The nitrate ion contains a nitrogen atom, here coloured dark blue, with three oxygen atoms, coloured red as usual, bonded to it. Both ions are hydrated in solution. A one molar silver nitrate solution contains about 55 water molecules for each silver ion and nitrate ion. The ions are separated from each other by, on average, about three water molecules. Silver nitrate solution contains billions of hydrated silver and nitrate ions moving around amongst the water molecules. Aqueous sodium chloride is also clear and colourless. As before, the oppositely charged ions occasionally collide, but the water molecules keep them separated. Once again, notice how the water molecules are oriented differently around each ion. The symbolic representation for a solution should always show that the ions are usually separated from one another. Sodium chloride solution contains billions of hydrated sodium and chloride ions moving around and occasionally colliding. Imagine we're at the surface of the silver nitrate solution, just as the first drop of aqueous sodium chloride hits. Now we have a solution with four different types of iron. Which combination produces the white ionic solid? Well, when nitrate ions collide with sodium ions, they don't combine. In fact, solid sodium nitrate is quite soluble in water. The only other possibility is the combination of silver and chloride ions. See how iron pairs form, which in turn aggregate together to form a growing crystal. And there's a nitrate spectator ion moving past and you can see other ions joining the crystal. The next time you see a solid form in a test tube, imagine the ions combining together to form bigger and bigger crystals that aggregate together.